Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. The problem says that a vertical force P of magnitude 1500 Newton is applied to the bell crank. Determine the average normal stress developed in 10 mm diameter rod CD and the average shear stress developed in 6 mm diameter pin B that is subjected to double shear. So we are required to find uh, the average normal stress in this rod CD and the average shear stress at the pin uh, located at point B and this P has a magnitude of 1500 newtons. So in order to find uh, uh, the average normal stress in this CD we have to find the applied force on the rod CD. So as you guys can see that when the force P is applied to point A in the downward direction what will happen is that this point C or we can say that this ABC bell crank will apply the force on CD in this direction and as a reaction this CD will apply the force on this point C or joint C in this direction. So since we are going to consider the free body diagram of this bell crank so we have to consider the force applied on this bell crank. So we can say that the force uh, CD arm is applying the force on bell crank mechanism at point C in this direction. So this is let's say the force in rod CD and at B since at B we have the pin support so at B we will have BX and we will have BY support reaction. So first of all to find the average normal stress we must find FCD this P force is 1500 Newton. So if we apply the sum of the moment about point B equals to 0 counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now as you guys can see that um, this FCD is producing uh, the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus FCD and the moment arm of this FCD from that point B is this vertical distance. So if we consider this right angle triangle and this length is 300 mm, BC length is 300 mm, this is given. So according to this right angle triangle, this perpendicular will be 300 sine of 45. So the moment arm of FCD is this 300 sine of 45. So we will multiply this with 300 sine of 45. And as you guys can see that this P force is producing the clockwise moment about that point B. So we can write that this is minus P is 1500 and the moment arm of this P from that point B is this distance which is 450. So 450. This is equal to 0. So remember that this has a unit of mm and this has a unit of mm so they will cancel out. So there is no need to convert the units for this particular equation. So now from this we can say that FCD is equal to plus 1500 into 450 divided by 300 sine of 45. So we can say that 1500 into 450 divided by 300 sine of 45. So this gives us 3182. So FCD is approximately equal to 3182 Newton. So as you guys can see that this since this um, mechanism is applying the force on CD in this direction and there is no other force acting on CD. So this means that this CD is a two force member and CD is subjected to a tensile stress. So we have FCD here and the other end is also subjected to FCD like this. And this is that CD arm. So this means that uh, CD arm is in tensile stress. So we can say that the average normal stress in CD, this is equal to FCD divided by the area, the cross section area of CD. So FCD is 3182. The dia of uh, CD is 10 mm. This is given in the problem statement. So we can say that this is pi divided by 4 and 10 divided by 1000 is 0 0.01 so from this we can find the average uh, normal stress in cd so 3182 divided by 
pi divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.01 square. So this gives us 40.5 megapascal. So average shear stress in CD is 40.5 megapascal. You guys can see that uh, if we shift the decimal place towards the left six digits, then this is 40.5 megapascal. Similarly, to find the average shear stress uh, applied on pin B, we must find uh, Bx and By. So for that, I must apply the sum of the forces in the x. So that must be equal to 0 towards the right as our positive x. So we have Bx in the positive x and we have Fcd in the negative x. So Fcd, this is equal to 0. And from this, we can say that Bx is equal to Fcd, which is equal to 3182 Newton. Similarly, apply the forces in the y, the sum of the forces in the y must be equal to 0. Now, by is in the positive y direction and p force is in the negative y direction. This is equal to 0. And from this, we can say that by is equal to 1500 Newton. So, now to, to find the shear stress, we have to find the resultant force which is applied on pin b. So, the resultant force will be equal to bx square plus b y square like this and this is equal to so b x is 3182 square plus p y is 1500 square under the square root this 3182 square plus 1500 square so b the resultant force which is applied on pin b is 3517 or we can say 3518 newton approximately and the direction of the resultant will be in this direction. So now if we draw that pin B, if this is that pin B here, so the force which is applied, and, and sorry, this is the reaction force. So the force applied on pin B will be opposite to that B, right? So this is the force which is applying the pin B on this mechanism. So as a reaction, this mechanism is applying the opposite force on pin B. So we will have the force on B like this and since the problem says that uh, pin B is subjected to double shear so we will have uh, one shear force here and we will have one shear force here so this is V and this is V so now if we apply the sum of the forces on pin B in this direction so we can say that <clears throat> 2V minus B is equal to 0 and we can say that V is equal to B divided by 2 which is 3518 divided by 2. So we can say 3518 divided by 2 this is equal to 1759 Newton. And to find the average shear stress on pin B, that will be equal to V, which is 1759 divided by the area of the pin, which is pi divided by 4. And the die of the pin in the problem says that it is 6 mm. So 6 mm is 0 0.006 square. So this is equal to, so this is, you guys can see this is 62.2 megapascal. So the average shear stress uh, on pin B is 62.2 megapascal and the average normal sh uh, stress in that rod CD is 40.5 megapascal. So this is the solution of this particular problem, I hope. This will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.